Hi, welcome to Mapping with the Peterborough County. Today let's take a look at using our mobile devices to access the web maps. After accessing the site from ptbocounty.ca, scrolling down to the maps link and opening the Let Me Map Mobile buttons, you'll be brought to this disclaimer. Clicking through this disclaimer, you'll be able to access the site. You're provided with initially a map window along with the home page. The home panel provides you some of the quick links to some of our most popular I icons on the site. The I want to menu, we'll see in a second here, provides you some of our most common tools. The toolbar, I will also bring you back to. You can vi visit from the main mapping window, along with the waffle icon that allows you to navigate between tools that you already have open, and the locate option, which is really useful if you're working in the field. Let's start by taking a look at the I want to menu. Popping in from the left here, we can find some information here on the map. We can either find the data by clicking on the map, accessing the map layers, doing some, some search options, creating a printable map, or, or zooming back to where we began. Let's take a look at our map layers to begin with. So the bottom of the screen is now replaced with the layers window. As with our, as with our desktop site, the plus and minus symbols allow you to open or close groups of data. So you can see here the points of interest is expanded and by clicking the minus sign I can group that data back up. I can turn information on and off at the group or the, the layer level. So let's say I wanted to turn off the natural resource areas group. A quick click on the checkbox turns it off. Or if I wanted to work with a single aerial photo layer at the bottom here under base maps, I can click on the aerials 2013 to turn just that layer on. If I wanted to turn on the elevation mapping information on our LiDAR group, I could click that, but you don't see it because the aerials are fully opaque. By affecting the transparency, you can start to see how the two of them interplay. We'll turn off the LiDAR for now and, and get started with the site. Feel free to explore the information located in here. The zoning and official plans, for instance, contain a number of our municipalities within the county, and you can turn on both the group and then the layers within. And sometimes you have to expand to turn on the layers within that group. But in this case, you can see Kevin Monaghan's zoning has come up there. So I'm going to click on the drop down button here in order to free up some more map space and take a look at the county just a little bit bigger. Just as you're familiar with on other mapping sites, a two finger pinch and stretch navigation will allow you to zoom in and out of the map. So by pushing both fingers onto the surface of my touch screen device and expanding my fingers, I can stretch the map and zoom in a little bit. I can also tap and drag on the map to navigate and pan around. Again, stretch to zoom in. If I want to use the search tools on the site, I can click on the I want to menu, which we accessed previously from the home panel. And this time I'm going to go down to the find a parcel by address option, click on that, and open up our, our search here. Now I know that our award-winning Lang Pioneer Village is located on Lang Road. So by entering in the information I know, I can select, it'll bring up anything that has this set of characters within the the name, so I have to select from the list, in this case Lang Road and Autonomy South Monaghan is the one I'm looking for, and the street number provides a drop-down list of any available streets on that road. Fortunately, we're looking for 104. I'll click Find and it'll take me directly to that site. The re result that's shown here, I can click on that to provide a little additional information. It provides some quick access tools that I can use to work with the map, as well as some details at the bottom here, the address and the roll number. I'm going to again click the drop down button here so I can get some more real estate on the map. Again, I can pinch and zoom to expand in on that site. Or, or I can zoom out. So let's say I wanted to work with my tools now. If I click on the toolbar option up here, let's say we wanted to find a coordinate. I could click on this plot coordinates, click on the map and find out where I was located. But in this case, let's take a look with the drop down here at our search by distance. I can bring up a distance on the map. I can click on the end of the road and then click again somewhere along it to find out just how far that is. Here we are at uh, sorry, 85.4 meters. Excellent. If 
if I want to be able to go back to our layers, I can click on the waffle icon and click on layers to be able to bring that up. And as mentioned, the final button down here is our locate option, and this works great if you're in the field. By clicking on this button here, you can select from either find me, track me, or follow me to either center yourself on the map and leave it there, um, or have the map follow you. Track me will allow the map to follow you anywhere um, with the center of your, your position located anywhere on the map. However, follow me will center you right in the center of the, uh, the map window. So those are also great options if you're working in the field. I'll click that drop down to bring back all of the map real estate. And just a reminder that you can work through the map through any of these tools. And, and with that, I'll leave you to get exploring. Enjoy the website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the county. Uh, visit the ptbocounty.ca site, uh, click on the Maps button, and there's plenty of information there to get you started. Thanks for visiting.